In this video, we will see how can we find or identify the out outliers in our observation. So actually, once you get the regression output, it's very easy to identify where is our uh, place to find to identify out outliers. So before I start to mention the certain area, I want to uh, mention about the regression output again. So you need to use the data analysis button and to use the regression command from the regression analysis uh, windows. And after you have the output, we have four parts. The first part, regression statistics. Second part, ANOVA table. And the third part is our regression estimated regression equation. And the last part is the regression output. And for the regression output, we have first column is the number of the, the order of the observations, which is called observation. And the second column is predict the y variable. In our case, is predict the car sold. And the third column is the residuals. It's used the 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 predicted the y value minus the observed y value given x value. And the last column is standard residuals. I want you to uh, re remember re record what we've learned from chapter three: how to identify the how to identify the outliers. So we standardize our uh, our variables and try to compare the standardized residual with the, the value of two, the positive and negative two. The same idea here. Once we look at uh, if we look at the, the standard residual column, if we find any standard uh, residual is larger than two or smaller than the negative two, we will identify the outliers. So fortunately, in this case, we cannot find outliers because all the observation here, all the standard residual here, are either smaller than two or larger than uh, either smaller than two. Uh, both of them, all of them, are larger than negative two and smaller than positive two. So none of them are outliers. If for some cases we have outliers here. And we, what we need to do, we in order to identify the influ inf influential outlier, we need to do one more job. That is using this function to do the estimation, which means you need to first calculate the HI by using this formula, 1 over n plus the observation you identify, which is outliers, the corresponding x value, minus the mean of uh, the mean of x and power by 2 divided by n minus 1 times the simple variance of x. And then try to compare this value with 6 divided by the sample size. If this holds, and then that outlier will be counted as influ influential outliers. If that value is more than that 6 divided by the number of uh, vision, then we don't identify, we don't think it's influential outliers, which means uh, if it is not uh, influential outliers, it cannot have a big impact on our regression model.